cave bound. Doc Beaver, he's uh, stopped short of the cave about a mile, about two miles. He knows where the big rocks were. He's looking around there now. He just sent me a picture of the beach. So I'm going straight to the cave. No right turns today, except for the first one, the one I'm on now. I got uh, two notes, or shout outs, or whatever you want to call them. The chain man, Mr. Denny, he went to the, he went under the knife on Monday. But it was, uh, you know, not a major knife. Having what he had done to his heart is uh, not overly a uh, hard operation these days. Anyway, he went in outpatient Monday. A couple, three or four hours, he was back home. And he's recuperating. He's uh, doing fine. I'm not sure when he'd be able to go detecting. I think this coming week he'll be ready. But they got his heart uh, to do what it was doing bad and fixed it. So he's uh, back in action, so to speak. Or will be shortly. Now, you remember uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I don't remember what it was. We were hunting a cave, me and Denny. And Denny found that little fist car axe. Well, you know, I cleaned it all up. I didn't clean it up much. I just sharpened it up. And I sent it to that guy out in uh, Washington, uh, Oregon, Washington, I think he is, uh, Wrangler Star, if you don't know who Wrangler Star is. Anyway, he put a video up this morning of uh, a wood splitter, several new wood splitters he's been testing, uh, different models. And at the end, his sister's in there with him, and she's using the uh, little uh, fist car just on a test. And she jams it into a piece of wood and she's trying to get it out and it flies out and hits her in the mouth and knocks out her tooth and busts her lip all up. Damn the bad luck. Now I wish I hadn't sent it. But it's on his video, Wrangler Star. I know that had to hurt like hell. God. Okay. Oh, one more thing. That, that little, uh, what do you call it thing I found yesterday? Chauffeur's badge? I found, uh, I didn't find, I did find, finally found one on eBay from Virginia, 1935. But it had a different shape than the one I found. So I stuck mine on the auction side today, see what happens to it. I doubt it'll sell, but I got it up there anyway. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Shut off, you piece of crap. Cut off. God. Well, I'm about two hours earlier than I was yesterday. You can see the tide is getting off good now. The outer bar is uh, just starting to show. It should dry right up again today. Big container ship going out. I'm going to hunt over on this side a little bit today, maybe on that side, while I wait for the tide to get off. But I'm going right in there first. You can see, of course, there's no steps. There won't be no steps so we have some other kind of blow. Steps are done for a while. Well, there's a cave. There's a sentinel. I got a first target right here. You can see I'm going a different approach today. I got the X-Cal today. Stand by and let's see what this is. So long as I use it, I don't know what this sounds like, but sounds okay. Hello there, Takita. Might be a block of iron. I don't see anything. Stand by till I find it. 
had a feeling that's what it was. <laughs> Earth target. I like it. You can see the tide's getting off good now. I've only been here 40 minutes. See, uh, I have another visitor. Can't tell. I don't think it's beaver. Looks like a CTX. Could be Bobby Whitfield. I don't know who it is. I'm on the outside right now, looking in. Stand by. Well, we got a fairly low sound here. What's low sound other than that nickel we had? Oh, nice rocks. Come out of there, baby. I don't see anything. Wait a minute. Maybe I do. Could be that. Nope, not that. Let's go back and investigate. Ah, I don't, I don't hear it anymore. Stand by. Well, I found it again. Whatever it is, it fell through. Now it's fallen through twice. Let's see if we can find it one more time. Probably a 22. Well, it sounded good, I know that. But that's the way them suckers are. I got the sifter in the truck, I just didn't bring it. I got the whole tube this time. I was wondering what it was. There's cement on it. Plastic cement. I wonder if that's from kids playing or is that from glue sniffers? Mmm, that's an old looking tube though. I don't think they were sniffing glue back in those days. Cool. See, Doc Beavers made it from his eastern location to here. Where did this come from? <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. Here comes the guru coming in. <laughs> All I'm finding in here is your home. What do you think of that? That's a nice old one. Yeah, I think it's jade. Some kind of jade or yeah. something on there. Opal jade, I don't know. We got diamonds on the side of it? No. Oh, just clean no, it it's just clinking. No, it's just sort of rubbed off it. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Taquito. We'll find some more today, I hope. Nice when you can pass the cave on the outside. That means it's tight, good and low. Stand by. I'm going on that side for a few minutes. That's my old buddy Ron, the shoe digger. The guy I found the quadricopter, remember? I'm on the other side of the other pipe now. Penny Graveyard. I think they walk out on this pipe and throw pennies in the water. I never found so many pennies in my life as I have here. Stand by. We'll see what Ron's digging with his foot. Got a two jukebox with him this morning, looks like. Hey, are you completely dry? No. Oh, it's inside, and it just He's heats dry. up to your. That guy down there is dry. Is he? He's got a dry suit. Uh -huh. He got a dry suit on. 
He has. <laughs> the rest of us don't use them. So was it cold at first? No. I want some of them. The old guys have to pee a lot, so we can't wear a dry suit. <laughs> <laughs> dry suit. Yeah, that makes it a little warmer, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> How you making that, man? I ain't seen you in a long time. I know. Ain't nothing left. I done filled it all. With this one and that other one I got, the uh, pro I got. Yeah? I done filled it all. This day up there, that white, that first white walk on. Plenty of big iron around today. Where I look, there's big chunks of iron. Look at it. Ah. Masking a lot of my stuff. Look, look at that one. Yeah, a good, a good sound. Stand by. About everything I find, got iron right by it. I'd hunt in that target trace. Huh? I'd hunt in target trace and it'd tell me I have more than one target. Oh yeah, there. I do too. And then it This kind of looks like a pencil, but I don't know what that thing is. You can see it's got a hole in the center of it. Oh yeah. Can't be platinum though, can it? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty ticket though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's better than nothing. The roundup was uh is kind of bleak today. Forty wheat penny, I think, is the best of it. I got that one what's it crack. Still got I think two or three from the other day. Weather sounds bad tomorrow, but I got the knife gig anyway. Right when the tide's, you know, gonna be low, so I'll be on a holiday from the cave or wherever. Well I did see three silver rings today, as you will see. Two by CTXs and one by Excalibur. I think the boys will probably go back in that vicinity again tomorrow if the weather lets them. Oh, it's very iffy on the weather. Okay, I'll check with you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. I got a email from John, Big John, he's in the OBX, you know, in the Corolla area. He had a pretty good day today. I don't think he found any gold, but he found lots of targets and tickets today. And, like I said, Beaver found a silver ring. I think I'll show you a picture of that. I know there's one on the video. And I gave you the Chain Man report. Okay, see you later.